One final segment of Trojans Live. Jordan Moore, Sean Co- Cody, joined by the quarterback, sophomore JT Daniels, who won that hard-fought competition this offseason. And you, like all the other quarterbacks, had to adjust to, to that Graham Harrell offense we were just talking about. What was that adjustment like for you? Um, it, it, was, it was pretty fast, to be honest. You know, at the end of the day, football is still football. Uh, and the quarterback position is always the quarterback position, no matter what system you're in. Uh, I, th- I think uh, the big thing was for all the quarterbacks just to buy into it, you know, as, as soon as it's here. Uh, I think everyone did a really good job of that, uh, and the whole team included. Uh, you know, we really fell in love with the air raid and uh, what coach had to offer. Uh, it was just about buying in and, you know, getting into the flow of it. Tough year last year. What did you learn about yourself as a player, about the team? You know, you've come from a great program like Modern Day knew nothing but winning. What did you learn about yourself last year with that tough year? Uh, I think first and foremost, I learned that I really love football because as the year went on and, you know, you, you take hits and win a big one, then lose a couple big ones. Uh, you know, I, I, I retained my love for the game and I was having a great time, you know, throughout the whole thing. Love just the grind. I like that. Just fighting. Um, I, I think as a team, everybody learned that uh, we got to be mentally tougher. Uh, you know, it's not about playing not to lose. We're, we, you know, we're trying to go out and score every drive this year. Um, there are a lot of games we were up. 10 points, 14 points in the first half. We start out strong. Uh, then I think we get just get into this mode where it's like, all right, we're up. Let's not lose the game. And uh, we let teams come back. We took our foot off the gas pedal uh, this year. And Coach Harrell's made it a huge uh, emphasis. You know, we don't care if we're up 70 or down 40. You know, we're going to go score on this next drive. Yeah, Coach Harrell has sort of talk pretty openly about bringing the swagger back to this USC offense. I mean, is that the way you guys just view it this year? Hey, let's just go hang 50 on everybody and, and, and let the sort of the chips fall where they may? Uh, you know, in a way, yeah. It, it's really just about scoring on this drive. You know, it's not a, we're not tracking how many points a game or how many yards I throw or how many you know, rushing yards Steven or Vi has. Yeah. Uh, we go into the game, we'll score on the first drive, then we'll score on the second drive, then the next drive, and just keep focusing one drive at a time, one play at a time. Do you feel like that confidence has grown throughout the offseason? Absolutely. Uh, you know, just that mindset of next play, next play, next play. Uh, you know, I, I don't get the feeling that guys are just trying not to lose. I get the feeling that every play, you know, with the tempo and everything we got going, uh, you know, we're just trying to do our job every play. During the competition this year, during fall, you got a chance to throw to all the wide receivers, right? Last year, you know, you, you got to break into the starting role. This year, you got a chance to throw to everybody. What's, what's that, building that chemistry with that receivers, has it, come faster this year for you uh it's definitely come faster um you know obviously it was tough last year i had no spring ball experience and then uh you know summer ball you had to do what you can but there's not much to it and then you know first game that was my first time throwing with uh you know Pittman and tyler and valus and all those guys last year i i I had thrown with them for you know maybe four months uh so obviously i have that chemistry of a whole season to build off with them and, uh, you know, you, you got to give just a lot of credit to the new guys, uh, you know, John Jackson, Munir, uh, Drake London, and, you know, all, all the new pass catchers uh, just coming in. You know, if I ever needed to throw, they were there. Uh, they, uh, you know, every single day they give their full effort. Uh, you know, I've noticed just leaps and bounds from those guys. Yeah, you have such a great receiving core, and so much has been made about that. But they're also very different, and, and, and especially if they want you to throw to eight different guys, if they're going to rotate, uh, you know, so many bodies in that spot. So, so you know, give me an example. I mean, how hard is it to, to try to build chemistry? Okay, you got a guy like Velas who you can't overthrow, right? He has so much speed. Yeah. But then you have a guy like Vons who's like, I'm always open. He doesn't really need separation. It's just if you get it on his hands, it's coming in. So, you know, how, how, how difficult is it to try to sort of find the, the nuances of, of each of the receiving talents? Uh, it, it just takes time and reps, but for the most part, um, you, you know, it's another thing that I really love about the system. Uh, guys just get, you got guys know to get to their grass and they know what spot to be in. You know, at, at the end of the day, it doesn't matter who's there. I, I got to put in the spot and it's the receiver's job to get there and they do a great job. But then if I'm putting it in the right spot, you know, it doesn't matter if it's Amon or Devin, you know, they're going to get there. It's year turf two for you. Talk about your leadership role now. Year one, obviously, you're a freshman. It's tough to become a leader on a team when you're a freshman, even being the quarterback. Now it's year two. You're the, you're the starting quarterback. What kind of leadership role have you taken on? Uh, you know, it's definitely stepped up. Obviously, last year is not much chance. Uh, you know, coming in summer, going straight into fall. Uh, you know, I don't think 23-year-olds want you know, <laughs> yeah. 18. I wasn't going to listen to you. I wouldn't have yeah. listened to you last year, buddy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know. um, this year, obviously, I get another year with the guys. I get a whole spring. Uh, I get January workouts. I've had a full summer workout session. Uh, you know, I know the guys a lot better now. Uh, you know, they're all my best friends now. I, I've had that time to 
you know, really, uh, you know, train with them and work with them and, uh, you know, just really come close with them. So obviously I step up a little bit there. I think the biggest thing on me is just to bring the excitement, bring the tempo for the offense. Uh, Coach Graham's made it a very big emphasis that the most excited team wins. So it's my job to start that. And how excited are you guys for Saturday? Finally to play. Wait. Yeah, we can't <laughs> wait. Yeah, we're looking forward to it. JT Daniels leading this USC offense going into his sophomore season. We heard from your head coach. We heard from your offensive coordinator. And it just seems like a great attitude for this team uh, going into this year after a humbling 2018. It's an exciting 2019, and it all starts on Saturday.